would like to greet all the church, especially those who visit us who are watching us with the peace of the Lord. I invite those who can to stand up. We're going to open our books in Isaiah chapter 6. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1 through 6. Isaiah 6, verse 1 through 7, actually. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 6. From chapter 1 to chapter 6 from verse 1 to verse 7. And the word said, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim. Each one had six wings. With two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The holy earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out. And the house was filled with the smoke. So I said, Woe is me, for I am done, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of the people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of Then one of the seraphims flew to me, having his hand a live coal, which he had taken it with wing thongs from the altar. And he touched my mouth with it, and he said, Behold, it has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken away, and your sins purged. Bless me the name of the Lord. We, we bless your name. We adore you, Lord. For another, one more time to be here in your presence, in your house. To surrender our, our praise. We ask you that you can complete the blessing reserved, prepared for each one of us tonight. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. My brother, the text that we read, it starts speaking speaking about a situation of where, uh, where we don't like, and we don't, sometimes don't even like to mention, to talk about the death. The people was going through a difficult moment because the, the king of Zion he was a good king, but he felt he had some beds. But he was a good was a good king after all for the people, and he was a king that reigned for many for, for many years, more than David, more than Solomon, and that and brought and brought sadness because he, the king was the governor, he was the one that governed every governed everything, and now what was it? So now what people thought. Is, the ones that come will be as good as him. Does his son going to be? Is his son going to be good as him? So while this was going on outside, Isaiah was at the Lord's house. For, for us tonight, my brother, we have we have a we have a teaching for, for us. We live in a in a days with a lot of uncertainties. We all know that what's going, what's happening. It brings, it brings in uncertainty. We don't know how that's gonna, how it's gonna happen. We don't know what's gonna happen with it in relation to anything. The world out there, it's like that. There's, they're always scared. They're afraid. My brethren, but we're here in the, the house of the Lord. While the world out there experiment the, the death. While the death experiment sadness, desire experiment something unique, something supreme. He started saying, "In the year that the king died, I saw the Lord, and the certainty that the Lord is the same Lord of our lives, because He says like that. 
I saw the Lord, he was sitting in an altar, a, su a, su a supreme throne. The throne was not empty. Jesus died, but Jesus is alive. But when Jesus said, I'm going to my Father, and he's sitting at the right side of my Father, it's because the throne is not empty. John saw that in the, the Revelations. Isaiah said, Isaiah said, I saw the Lord, I saw the angels. What we experiment here tonight, what we have experiment in the presence of the Lord, it's an operation. While the word lives with that, we have in our hearts, we have experiment. That day after day, service after service, it's the Lord is alive. The operation of the angels, it's the angels are, are, are here because there's forgiveness of the saints. This is what we have experiment. We will not dignify for this, like Isaiah said. I'm a man of impure lips, and I live among the people. With. We're not dignified. None of us. No matter what you do, you're not you're not dignified. But the Lord touched our lives. Jesus changed our being. He transformed our destiny. He transformed. The angel comes with her. And the coal was and the hot and the and the hot coal was the what's alive. Showing that the sacrifice of Jesus was worked with Isaiah and is still working with today. If today you're here in the presence of the Lord, it's because it's because there was the the forgiveness of the sin because there was a sacrifice, because of the lamb was was dead. The lamb of God that came that take away the sin of the world. Right, and we're here tonight. The show Lord. The Lord showed exactly what we're talking about. We spoke about the four corners of the church. There was like a hope and the hope in the middle of the church. And that point, the point said word, Jesus. What sustains the, the, the people of the Lord is Jesus. The world, the world out there with all the uncertainties don't, 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 doesn't know where it's going. We see pictures, videos, pictures of supermarkets missing, supermarkets missing, everything. But we don't have to be afraid because the word has confirmed all that. The word says all that. But the word says, when the things start to happen, please look up on the sky, look above. This gift said there was a lady here tonight, and she's, she was not in the center next to this point, this fixed point. She was sitting, and there was a bag with her, and in this bag she had, she had mails, letters. And she kept all these letters. And those letters for her was like a form of direct her life. Give a direction. The letter, the correspondence, it's good for what? It brings us news. It brings us good news and also brings us bad news. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's a bill, it's an invoice. When it's an invoice, the interesting thing is, when it's when it's a invoice, we pay. The bill, we pay. We, we keep a we keep the we keep a piece of it, and then the rest we throw away. The remembers that you have that has brought you here. That brought the sadness. So sometimes you look a look a look away, and you look for a way to give a direction to this letters. The, the Lord has given give us a gift. Listen to the heavens and I'll speak to you. Brother, please, in, a, in an agony, please look up above. The voice comes from the heavens. The, this environment here, is, it's all agony. 
but the voice that comes above gives us the sustainment. It sustains us. It gives us the joy. It gives us direction. And the blessing of this is you listen to the voice. Go to the center. We are going to be victorious if we are firm in God, in Jesus. The church will only be victorious if we, if we have Jesus besides it, as a guide. Isaiah it was a servant. But his experience, he was a believer. But his experiences, when he saw Jesus, when he saw Jesus' life, sitting in the throne, on the right hand of the Father, and tonight we can contemplate our Jesus lives on the right hand of the, the right side of the Father, listening to us. And this is the word of the Lord tonight. We're going to glorify the Lord. Amen.
is our Lord, brethren. It's the, the arms of the two, the power. It's the amen. It's the beginning, the end. It's the Lord of our lives. It's what who died for us. Blessed be the name. Please be stand up. We're going to have another word about the race to the Lord. We love, we praise your name. We praise your name. Because you're a God of salvation. Because we don't deserve that. But you, uh, you put us in this world, in this way. Amen. We, we, we bless your name in the name of Jesus because we know your presence. Your hands are standing in our hands. Nothing is missing. Not the resources, the provisions, the advices of the world, the direction, the comfort. That's why we thank you to you, Lord. We ask you that you receive our service and take us on the arms of peace, that we can have a, a night and rest in your presence. And the health, the spiritual and physical, to be preserved in our lives. We pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of the grace, the wonderful, our Salvator, Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit, and the gifts of the Holy Spirit can be poured upon us for now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, real quick, I to take my attention. We had a weekend. Blessed by the Lord. In uh, Boston and Connecticut. Two young. One in Boston and one in Connecticut. Amen. Please go and find the Lord. This is the answers of our praise. We had a, we had a seminar over there, meetings last week. The Holy Spirit. This is a, a bulletin. This is a provincial bulletin, the coronavirus. It's, it's in English. We have to do what's, what's computers. As a person, we have to follow. We don't need to read it. You can read it there. Those are the, those are the cares you need to take. How to, how to greet people. We're not going to close the church until, until, the, until it's really necessary. Please be alert. Alert in all, what aspect? Following all the orientations, you know, all the, the government, the news, doctors, everything that's oriented us. Let's be attentive. We are attentive to everything that's been passed down to the public, to people, but certain precautions we need to take. We need to take. We're going to maintain the church. Only for the service, we're going to be quick service, we're not going to have meetings, meetings, no rehearsals, nothing that can take our time here. We live, we, we stay in a very tight place, without, we, without one, we have contact with people we touch, but let's avoid the max we can. You know, just don't shake hands, don't pray, even the, even the praise, we're going to limit it for the people. All the services in the general way, so the Lord can bless us. Unless someone really needs a prayer, we're here. But if you can, you know, within the limit, we're going to avoid anything, any contact, children. Let's, let's follow all this, all these preventions over there that's written, all the, all the cares. Wash your hands. Amen? Let's put that in part of our lives. Instruments, microphone, it has to be, has to be uh, cleaned. Everybody talks on the microphone, clean it. At the end of the day, clean it. 
hygiene, hygiene, hygienization, yeah. not to transmit anything that can pass as the person, the, the, the dangerous is not, the person doesn't, infected, doesn't become infected, she receives the virus, and she it becomes a, a transmission. That's the big ah, problem. Não é uma vítima, she's not não é only a victim. Uma she's not only the person that's infectada. infected. She also is a transmitter. She é transmits it. Pessoa. She passes to other people. Então, so while we don't have any case of a person infected here, we're going to keep the church there. open. Certo? Right? Cuidado, Let's be né? careful. Amen? Amen? Any questions? Amen. Any questions? Camera, any questions? Tomorrow, 10.30, normal, and 7.30. We can, we can receive something, close everything from the government, but we'll, 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 we'll advise people. Up until now, tomorrow, 10.30, service, and 7.30 at night. Amen? Peace of the Lord. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go home. Bye.